Almost got it. Didn't quite get it there. Oh, that is not look good. And I've lost the best part of the set. <laughs> I'm cancelling the dash attack. I think I'm recovering. Like, uh, perhaps didn't have his control set up right in the first set, first set. So, hopefully, he has um, gone into playtest mode and got all that sorted out before starting here. Yeah, that's not gonna not gonna quite connect. Random seven flame knows that he's waited it out there. there instead of trying to spike. I guess he wants to get uh, Azaka away from the wall as much as possible and surprise Maybe. sweet spot there does get the kill. Maybe you thought he would die in the end lag. <laughs> I mean ultimately the spike would be too opportune if they just wall tech this so I believe Blazing Hideout has one of the larger blast zones down the bottom if not the largest. It's been quite some time since I've checked that but I just remember doing a lot of crag recovery gifts back in the day, and you can go surprisingly deep down on the, uh, the side of the wall there. Probably gets hot down there. <laughs> Random Seven's giving a spider showing right now. He's playing a bit more aggressively than he's been afforded the opportunity to before. He's really taking advantage of the time to beat me up. Oh, tough dog in this matchup. Didn't quite punish the uh, freeze there either. Had time to react, and that's an unfortunate SD. Still has that Another freeze. Doesn't play enough time to how to like really take advantage of all that left right. Well, playing it didn't get any extra percent on the freeze, which is really important. I know at the highest level of play, you can get as much as 40% off any freeze. Mm. <laughs> I to see it happen. Unfortunate, so uh, that's it. Now going to our Sage Vans. It is interesting, the comparisons between these two characters and how they want to play Sage Control is very similar. So when you're banning Sages against the other, it's almost like you're taking away your own best strengths as well. Makes for an interesting dynamic, I feel. I've seen Randy get hit by that down special quite a number of times so far. He needs to be more aware of Zaka's landing options. And he's gone deep off stage at only 50%. DI'd good? hard out on that jab. So he did not want to get combo. I mean, a combo from Bloody Adelaide didn't have enough. Ah, oh, so much percent. If you get hit by a blind, then you take the advantage and really take a blind in stock. Just Put the control of it. <laughs> These bubbles don't play a very significant factor against the Edelus's recovery a lot of the time. His up special does have projectile inbound, so you can sort of delay it and try to get them as they're landing as opposed to when they're up in the air. Yeah, catch them up to the apex and then just run out. Yeah. That's a lot of the game plan against Edelus in general. Just punish the landing, don't punish the approach. It's much more difficult to punish him out of up special. No surprise, sweet spot. Died off this back air a couple times already, Azaka. Azaka is really taking advantage. I feel like one thing that would really make Azaka improve, he would just pay more attention to the puddles and just punish his recovery better. Just needs more time with the game, I feel. It's, um, yeah, really difficult to come in without that knowledge and learn on the fly in a game you're not super familiar with. This could be the first time he's ever actually played against this character, for all we know. That was pretty clean. I think there is a sweet spot on the up special that gives it more knockback, so that sour spot didn't quite kill him, but... I think the key is broken. Broken? Yeah, it's come down. So I gave it a big job, but I'm staying.